we like to call ourselves the heart of the Europe because our position, you know, geographical position in Europe. And we are a country which, you know, have 10 and a half million people. We had to fight for our little country many times. So I would say that we are, we are, um, we are proud the way the Czech Republic is evolving now. We are known for our skills little like a hand skills, crystal and uh, let's say art arch architecture. So we are proud of that and um, I think art is a big part of, of uh, Czech uh, culture and sport. So I would say we are a, we are a sport country in a way. The culture, the you know the art, and the and the skills because we we are actually proud of all the you know even the literature or the music or the paintings and all this stuff which came out of our country together with the crystal so I think this is what Czech Republic is proud of and the beer we are a beer country I have to say that uh, you know we are probably one of the most famous uh, countries for the beer so probably if you say Czech Republic and Pilsner work well. I think everybody knows, so this, this is probably the three most famous things. Our Czech cuisine is pretty heavy, I would say, and uh, we love dumplings. So the, we would have one of the, of the we would have like a, a pork with dumplings and, and sauerkraut, which was, you know, which the cabbage, you know, so this is probably one of the famous. Then we have, uh, then we have the sirloin with the cream sauce, and uh, and the dumplings again. So this is probably second. And um, you know, all, in all the in all the let's say famous Czech food, you always find dumplings. So when I go when I go back home, I I have to say the they would be a little, little treat. It's definitely Slovakia now, because since we split, uh, then obviously there is a little rivalry like, okay, we split, but we want to show you we are better. So there is that, is that uh, thing where we support each other when we play anybody else. But obviously when we play each other, everybody wants to win. And even for the people, it has a little, you know, spicy uh, atmosphere. It is always like a special game when you play Germany in a way because of the past, but because we have borders and not of them. And yeah, there, there is a history a bit of, uh, mixing up with, with the Germans always in a way, so yeah, we have a little, when we play Germany is, is as well special. We have the word, the word Wolle, <laughs> which, which in a way means nothing, but we use it in a way to kind of accent the, the, the sentence, in a way. So this is this is probably the word you hear a lot, and uh, is not rude, is not is not really nice. It's just this kind of word which, when you put it in, it just feels you you kind of spice up the, the sentence in a way that you accent it that people understand. Oh, okay, it's it's very really good or it's really very bad, but it kind of makes that sentence different. Well, I speak Czech, English, French, Spanish, German. I learned German in school. I haven't used it much in the last decade, but I can still speak and I still understand. And then I'm, I pretty much fluent in Spanish, English. There was a moment when I, when we went to Japan, so I learned a little bit of Japanese, which you know you find is very difficult if, in a way, if you don't really learn it well and and if you don't uh, speak, maybe one day. The first time I went abroad was when we, as, as a 12 years old, we had a tournament in France. So I actually managed, we actually went to France to play a tournament. And um, it, was, it was a great experience for all of us. And then a few times we had tournaments, like a winter tournaments in, in Germany. So that was the few, 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 few trips we, we've done when I was a, when I was a kid. But, uh, but um, 
yeah, every time he went somewhere, it was mainly with the national team or with the team to play a tournament. You get to go everywhere, but uh, sadly enough, you go to play and train and then uh, you don't really have time to visit places. So sometimes you have, which is which you are always grateful when you can. Obviously, there, is a, there, is, there are places uh, where you always want to go in a way, you know, some uh, isolated islands or, or Amazonian, you know, all these uh, rainforests and all these places where it looks absolutely stunning and beautiful and, and you don't have time to, to go, so, so that would be, uh, that would be uh, the way to do probably when I, when I retire.